Hello my dear friends, it's been quite some time that I wanted to make our breakfast in advance for convenience and to save time and energy of course and since we're a family that we don't mind if we have leftovers so we can eat the food that it was the day before or the day even before I gave it a shot and I was very pleased, I was very happy I tried it and ever since I'm doing it, it helps so much in the mornings when my husband has to go to work early in the morning, I just take it out from the fridge and I put it in the bag and it's good to go. It's the same with the little fruits that I, I showed in the previous video. It saves so much time and you have something ready to go and it's amazing. So even if not everybody in the family doesn't like leftovers, but you do, if you're one of these persons, please give it a try. And especially if you're very busy. If you're not busy or you have plenty of time, please by all means make it every day. But if you're busy, and you have a busy schedule and you're working this really saves time so much I'm very pleased with it if you want the full recipe how I'm making it I will leave the video that I did the whole uh, explanation about this recipe now when it comes to radish I don't like to eat it raw so it's been a while that I purchased this vegetable but it's, it's good I decided to cook it with, with vegetables and it really tasted very nice this way. So if you're like me and you don't like raw radish, try it this way. In this relaxing environment, I think it's a good time to lift a prayer for our marriage. When we're doing our clothes, we're folding them, or we iron, or we washing our dishes by hand, or do other chores, our minds have some time to think. And it's nice to think good things and to pray. I practice more to pray when I have this time. So this is our prayer for today. You can pray it with me if you want. Fill our hearts, Lord, full of your love and peace, so that there is no room for anger. Teach us to pray about everything and make all of our needs known to you. Lord, Enable us to always see the best in one another and not the worst. Amen. Now we'll show you how we make the beets and also the other part of the breakfast. The beets is one of the vegetables that also I didn't like very much, but I tried to cook it because it was good and this is how I made my kids to try it 
So I told them that if you're gonna have beef, your tongue is gonna get pink. Do you wanna have a pink tongue? And by then they were ready to try it. <laughs> my older, my older daughter tried it. Her tongue became pink, and then the little one wanted also. So <laughs> now it's one of their favorites, and I will show you exactly how I make them. And they're very good. And now in the sausage, I will add some smoked paprika, and that's it. It's just a little bit of olive oil. And it's so good with scrambled eggs. I will have the full recipe of how I make my eggs and the vegetables down in the description box in another video that I made. So this is a little box from a toy that they got and they really wanted to keep it and my daughter started to make some holes and we made a little window and then our daddy made a door also <laughs> and so she said can we decorate it and I know it will not last but I wanted to make this wish for them and make it beautiful and decorate it even though it will not last for a long time but I can tell you they still play with it and it's something they're happy about <laughs> yeah. when it comes to beads I will not recommend to buy them frozen there's something in their taste that doesn't taste as well um, as you take them fresh from the market. I think the fresh and when you cook them your own, they taste so much better. Because I've tried the frozen ones and I didn't like them. I'm adding some olive oil, salt and a lot of vinegar. When you think you have put in a lot of vinegar, just add a little bit more. <laughs> At least this is what I do. And I add also a little bit of lemon because we also like lemon very much. And that's it. Olive oil, salt, vinegar and lemon. My older daughter, as soon as she heard that I had beets, she came over to try. And here is her little red tongue. <laughs> now I'm making a cold chocolate and I made it in a cup to go even though I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> it's so good and it will give me so much energy now to do my chores. <laughs> Now my friend, if you have things to do in your house, let this video play and let's do them together. <laughs> you have to fold your clothes that it has been sitting over there, or you have some dirty dishes. I'm here. <laughs> so let's do it together.
when it comes to cleaning little spaces that your hands cannot fit or even a toothbrush cannot fit a little skewer can do the job with a baby wipe I mean those baby wipes have been so helpful when it comes to cleaning I often wonder how did I clean without a baby wipe before <laughs> if you're a mama maybe you think the same let me know down in the comments below how many times you have used a wipe to clean something in your home. <laughs> And yes, ladies and gentlemen, this is the work of art of my little girl. <laughs> she loves to draw in the walls and make different designs. Even this wall that we got to clean together, after that she did something else. I'm not gonna show you, I just... <laughs> oh boy, she will learn. In the meanwhile, I try to enjoy it somehow and clean it, of course, when I have the time so she can make her own new design. <laughs> oh dear mamas, bear with me. It will only be for a little while. Mopping has been one of my favorite chores. I don't know, it feels like the floor is already clean and I just clean it even more. It's, I feel it's easy. <laughs> Do you have a favorite chore? Please let me know down in the comments. Now I'm gonna cook a very easy lunch because when you're so busy it's good to have something easy to cook or even better if you have something already cooked and you have it in the freezer so you don't have to cook that day when you have a lot of chores to do it's the best solution So I added some olive oil, salt, pepper, paprika, I will also add water and fresh dill if you have, usually because it gets really bad quickly. I like to buy it fresh, clean it, cut it and put it in a bag and have it in the freezer. So I take this bag out every time I want some to add in my food and I will always have some dill ready to go and at that point I forgot that I I forgot the onion <laughs> so I'm gonna add that also and when it comes to onion as my mother-in-law says onion makes the food tastes better so put a lot of uh, put a lot of onion in there <laughs> I'm adding tomato sauce also and I will add a little bit of ketchup 
and a little bit of cinnamon and of course at the very end I decided to give it a little more taste so I added Wester sauce Wester sauce Wester well, Worcester I don't know <laughs> and you serve it with feta cheese and a little bit of bread mm. oh yeah <laughs> this happened again <laughs> the shoes all, all over and this happened because summer came to us so quickly <laughs> That I didn't have the time to take all the winter shoes and put them in the area where I store all the winter shoes. So it was altogether a big mess. <laughs> so now it's the day to fix that. so good now the rest of the shoes I'm gonna clean in the washing machine I like to take all of them and I fill the washing machine with some of my shoes also so there will not be many holes and they wash perfectly and the ones that don't fit anymore I'm gonna give to other kids and we're gonna keep the other ones for my little one. As we were out with my little girls and they had some time to... We were at the zoo and we were walking in different places and then every time we'll stop somewhere they'll find something interesting and make a story and have fun. And I was thinking how easy kids find joy and adjust in any place you put them it may take a little bit of a while or sometimes it doesn't take a while it happens so fast kids have a way to find joy in, in little things and create new stories every time they're in a new place and I think how easier it will be for us to be like kids and and in every situation or place that we are to find things that we can enjoy and open to a possibility that something new can happen and just be happy with what we have and find ways to be joyful and grateful it's always easier to be sad and to think all the things that you don't have but it will be so much beneficial when you think everything that you have and find ways to do life with what you do have. Something that I'm very very grateful to my mother that she taught us that is that every six months that we will change our clothes from winter to summer clothes she always tell us to have three piles the ones that we're gonna keep the ones that we're gonna don't uh, give to somebody else and the ones that it's for trash so we did that for 
everything. So I have some clothes that they gave me that it will fit my older daughter when she's older. So I had this pile on the left that I got to sort out and I was left with the clothes that she's gonna wear this year. And after I put them all together, then I make a little packs and I see what I'm going to end up keeping <laughs> and what I'm going to give. Now you see me play the piano. <laughs> it's something that I really like to do and it gives me peace and rest. And at some point when I was doing the clothes, I felt overwhelmed and tired and I needed a break. And even though I didn't have the time at that time to take a break, I said, I'm gonna stop for five minutes and I'm just gonna go play. Give myself some time to relax and worship God and this gives me so much strength and after that I was ready to go those moments when you really need a break don't be afraid to take it even if it's for five minutes it may give you the time that you need to move on Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you liked it and hope to see you again in our next video. Bye.